Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG and in case you haven't kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Happy Heroes Day. I hope that this day is amazing for you. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula. Well, I have news coming in from the NUP camp, that is National Unity Platform camp. I also have bad news coming in from Farida Nakazwe's camp. So stick around as I take you through all that. Now, starting off with uh, the National Unity Platform camp, uh, recently during the State of the Nation address, uh, President Museveni said, Uganda is now a middle income country. However, a big section of Ugandans are saying, no, 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 neda sebo, neda muzei, toja tulimba, you're not gonna lie to us. <laughs> I mean, look at the state of poverty in the country. A big population of Ugandans cannot have two meals in a day. And you say Uganda is a middle income country? Anyway, uh, the spokesperson of NUP, that is uh, Honorable Joel Senyunyi, has also rubbished President Museveni's claim that Uganda is now a middle income country. Uh, Joel Senyunyi says this is a very big joke and a very big fat lie. He says President Museveni promised us a middle income status by 2020, but it came and passed and the only excuse he gave us was COVID-19. And Joel furthermore says President Museveni this year in January at the celebrations of Tarehe Sita, he said Uganda is going to achieve a middle income status by 2026. And here he comes five months later and he announces that Uganda is now a middle income country. Joel says Museveni please stop being a joke to Ugandans. <laughs> However, a big section of Ugandans have attacked Joel Senyonyi and, you know, these other opposition members of parliament who are busy negatively criticizing President Museveni's state of the nation address. A section of Ugandans are saying, you opposition members of parliament, you have no audacity to speak about the state of the nation address. Uh, first of all, you guys boycotted the state of the nation address, meaning you didn't even want to listen to what the guy was going to communicate to Ugandans. But the likes of Joel Senyonyi are busy negatively criticizing President Museveni's address. Ah, neda bambi mutulekemu. That is a section of Ugandans telling the opposition members of parliament. I don't know what you think, but the comment section is right there for you. Now, in other news, uh, NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe is back in the news and this time around Bruno K is not in the story. <laughs> Actually, she's been attacked by a section of Ugandans. So recently, the president of NUP, that is His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, said that President Museveni's government must suspend taxes on vegetable oil and wheat so that the prices of essential items like chapati can reduce. And number three, and most urgent and important of all, is government must suspend taxes on crude vegetable oil and wheat. This will help to reduce the prices of essential items like chapati. The ghetto people in our cities, in the towns and the trading center, the centers largely survive mainly on chapati. <laughs> Now, you must be asking yourself, how is Farida Nakazwe coming in this whole jazz? Now, listen, uh, Farida Nakazwe went on her social media platforms and questioned, is chapati an essential item? Ha, my friend, Farida was abused and assaulted by a section of Ugandans on social media. Actually, many people told her that Farida Nakazwe, at your level, you should know that chapati is food for many Ugandans right now. Just because you have money to buy expensive food doesn't mean that 90% of the people that watch your show can afford all that. Uh, some people called her dull. You know, I don't want to repeat those big, big words people are using to describe her. But I should say Farida Nakazwe has been harshly scolded by a big section of Ugandans. They are not happy at all. 
Anyway, that's what I got for you from Farid the Nakas Boys Camp. And I'll keep you posted. Yes, I'll keep you posted. But if you have any comment, just put it in the comment section, yeah? Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Very few people to make uh, 18k subscribers. I'm very grateful, you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, our target is still at 20k subscribers. And I believe we shall be achieving that very very soon just keep it right here on the buzz ug thank you